we find out keeping God's laws and commandments, they, they're actually the righteousness of God. That's how you manifest, that's how it's known, the children of God and the children of the devil. You understand? The children of God and the children of the devil. Hey, Sean, bro, you know that you're an Israelite according to the Bible? That your people, so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, went into slavery on slave ships for not keeping God's laws and commandments. Have you ever heard that before? No. All right. So this is one of the things that we got to do. And we're talking to Kyla. What's your name? Michael. Michael, what's your name? Javon. So Michael, Javon, Kyla, Donovan. Right? Told you as we go, I'm going to get a little bit better with it. You understand? Because I want to give y'all the respect. But at the same time, I'm going to show you love by correcting you. So right now, I know Donovan was there. Michael came up. What's your name one time? Javon. And the thing is, is this, that you know you Israel. Hey, hey, and you tell her, she still didn't correct it. Read that again. Second Read Corinthians again. chapter 13 and verse 5. Right. You know, examine yourself. So no matter where we were in life, and a lot of people like to say, oh, you're standing up here on the corner. You're talking loud where everybody can hear. But you know what? The Bible tells us to do that, and we'll show you that. You understand? So that's why y'all can hear us from down the block or wherever you're at. You understand? So read that. Whether you be in the faith. Read it from the top. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 5. Hey, and even if you're in the Christian church, you need to do this right here. Examine yourself. Go ahead. Examine yourselves. Whether you be in the faith. Whether you be in the faith. Are you really in the faith of Christ? Are you really in the faith of Messiah? Read. Prove your own self. Prove your own self. So the thing is this, you get to the point where you prove your own self. You see if you really live in court to the Bible. Right. Not nobody else. Bring it out. Read. Know ye not your own selves? Know ye not your own selves? You know you better than anybody else. Right. You know what you struggle with. You right. understand that, Michael? Uh, Javon, hey, I'm gonna mess it up, bro. I'm gonna mess it up, bro, and I apologize. You understand? Donovan, Kyla, you understand? Read. How that Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobate? Jesus Christ is in you, except ye be reprobate. So, John, uh, 1 John 3 and 10. So the thing is, is this. A lot of us, even going to colleges or going to church, we like to say, hey, I'm a child of God, though. I examine myself. I'm a child of God. I believe in Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. But today, something's going to be manifest. Something's going to be made known to uh, see who child you really are. Right. Read. First John chapter 3, verse 10. In this, the children of God are manifest. In this, the children of God are manifest. In this, the children of God are manifest. Y'all making, y'all paying attention? All right. Read. And the children of the devil. And the children of who? Of the devil. So there are children of the devil walking among us. Yeah. Bro, you ever heard this before? The children of God and the children of the devil are going to be manifest at this point in time, bro. Yeah, bro. Read. Whosoever doeth not righteousness. Whosoever doeth not righteousness. Is not of God. Is not of God. Yeah, right, right. Whoever does not righteousness is not of God. Hey, Shalom, bro. You ever heard this before that you're an Israelite quote to the Bible? Yeah. You have, huh? You too, sis? No, okay. Well, hey, y'all, y'all, y'all hold tight. You just here? Okay, hey, all praise, all praise. What's your name, bro? Malcolm. Malcolm? Okay, all praise, all praise. So right now, Malcolm, where we going in, we got uh, uh, Kyla, Donovan, Michael, Javon. Hey, I got it that time, bro. Javon, what's your name? Malcolm. Malcolm, all right? Sis, I'm just call you sis, yeah? All right, and sis, so... We're trying to find out these children of God and the children of the devil. Read that one more time. First John chapter 3 and verse 10. Right. In this, the children of God are manifest. Uh-huh. And the children of the devil. Go ahead. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God. So Malcolm, you just walked up, right? right. What is righteousness? Laws. Keeping the laws? Javon, what's righteousness? According to the Bible, what's righteousness? We'll pass. Michael, what's righteousness? That's a good answer. Donovan, what's righteousness? According to the Bible, what's righteousness? Just following what? Commandments. Commandments? Good answer. What, Kylo, what's righteousness? 
Say again. Doing what God wants, right? Let's get righteousness real quick. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. The Bible defines itself. The Bible defines itself. So a lot of the time we grow up, we think, hey, there's a contradiction in the Bible. No, the Bible explains itself. You have to go precept upon precept. You have to be, you have to be keeping God's laws and commandments to understand it. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. Yo. And it shall be our righteousness. It shall be our righteousness. Come on. If we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he had commanded us. If we do his commandments as he commanded us. You understand that, Malcolm? Yeah. All right. You ever heard that before, huh? Right. right. For you to get that answer, okay? Hey, hey brother, you were saying right, 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 right. You understand? So that brother you've been watching online? You yeah. have? No, I'll sorry. praise to the most high. I'll praise to the most high. So what's going to happen is this. We find out keeping God's laws and commandments, they, they're actually the righteousness of God. Right. That's how you manifest. That's how it's known the children of God and the children of the devil. Right. You understand? The children of God and the children of the devil. You understand? Devil means to what? To deceive. Right? right. The, brother, the brother mouthing it. He already know. Devil means to deceive. Right. That's a right. deceiver. You understand? So any person that's keeping God's laws and commandments should be walking in God's righteousness. Right. That's his laws and commandments, right? That would be considered a child of what? According to uh, 1 John 3, son, uh, child of God, right? But what would a child of the devil be considered as? Not, not keeping God's laws and commandments, right? That's a child of the devil, right? So the thing is, we were looking at examine yourself. Get yourself right. You understand? So that you can help your people. John chapter 15 and verse 10. Uh -huh. And verse 14. Ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. So even Christ himself. Hey, you do whatsoever I command you. You are my friend. Then you are of Christ. You are of God. You understand? So, bro. We know God's righteousness is keeping his laws and his commandments. Let's see. Let's get one of uh, God's laws. Let's get Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Because the sister brought it out early, earlier, but the thing is, is this. You have to make sure that yourself is in line first to be able to correct anybody. You understand that? Right. To correct anybody. Go ahead. Right. Numbers, chapter 15, and verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments throughout their generations. So this Bible, from front to back, the relationship between the children of Israel and the Most High in Christ. Right. right. From front to back. Right. Get out. No other exchange. Read. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. You understand? So we put the fringe on our, on our garments and border blue because it's a commandment. It's not a fashion statement. You understand? I know you go in some stores now, you see them, they put them on clothes and all that right now. But the thing is, is this. We wear it because it's a commandment. Because what we were told to do. Because why? Without it, what happens? We got to remember. We got to remember. Read. And it shall be unto you for a fringe, that ye may look upon it and remember all the commandments of the Lord and do them. So we look upon it, remember the commandments of the Lord, and do them. You're not married to the sister. You done talked up, gassed up. You getting ready to go smash. Right? You getting ready to take off your shirt. Hey, sis, I, I can't do this. Why, what's going on? Hey, uh, it's stuff I wasn't truthful with you. Hey, we're Israelites according to the Bible. We're supposed to be keeping God's laws and commandments. That's why I wear this. It's not fancy, it's not fashion. This is what we're supposed to do. Right. You understand? You understand? You still don't go in and smash. You understand? But those right there, that's to keep you keeping God's laws and commandments. You getting ready, you getting ready to go into the corner store. Hey, just like I used to always go get a black. You go get you a black. You finna roll up or whatever you thinking yourself to do. You go in that store, go in that pocket. Alright, see uh, y'all later. I'm gonna just get this soda and roll out. Why? Because, hey, you're not supposed to defile your temper according to God's laws and commandments. Right. You understand? That's what it's supposed to be there for. That's what it's there for. For you to remember God's laws and commandments as you go about. Read on. And that ye seek not after your own heart. And that you seek not after your own heart. What's your heart? According to the Bible. 
Say again? Your heart is evil? Okay. Above all things, you know, deceitful. What about you, bro? What's your name? Sean. Sean? All right. You ever heard you as an Israelite before? A little bit? All right. So what's your heart according to the Bible? You got that for me? Mark 7. What's your heart? What's your heart? What's your heart? Donovan, what's your heart? According to the Bible, what is your heart? Michael, what's your heart? Yeah, according to the Bible, what's your heart? You paying y'all paying attention? All right, Jonathan. Y'all saying it right? Javon. Hey, my bad, bro. Yeah. It up, bro. All right, so your heart is your mind according to the Bible. Read that. Mark chapter 7 and verse 21. So if you yeah. haven't noticed, every answer that we're going to give, we're going to go back to the Bible. That's yeah, right. We're not going to give y'all our own understanding. We might give you examples to actually help you to understand the scriptures better. But what we're going to do constantly, go back to this Bible. You understand? Read. From, for, from within, out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. Out of the heart of men, proceed evil thoughts. What pumps thoughts through you? Your mind. Right? right? Your mind. You understand? Evil thoughts. So our minds are on evil continually. What do we have to do? We have to convert our mind with what? Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. Come on. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Hey, Shalom, bro. Good to see you. I think you, you look familiar, bro. You been up here before? Nah? You? All right, hey, all praise. Y'all heard that y'all Israelites according to the Bible? Okay, hey, all praise, all praise. Y'all sit and y'all listen, all right? Come on. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So read that from the top again. Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. Go ahead. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. This is what changes your mind from all that wickedness into God's righteousness. So you can go from being a child of the devil to a child of the Most High God. Right, right, you understand? Right. And keeping his laws and commandments. Come on. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. All right. The only way that you can really reprove yourself or, or fix yourself is by knowing who you are. What did God create you to be? What did he give you to do? That's why we are here teaching laws, statutes, and commandments. Read that again. Psalms chapter 19 and verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So this is where you get your change from. Not only are we going to give you back your nationality so you can change your name, but once you change your name, you understand what you're supposed to be doing. Matter of fact, we need to bring out some laws. Get uh, 1 Corinthians. Because we've been talking about laws all day long. These are the things that you need to convert you. But what are the laws that we're going to need to start changing up on? 1 Corinthians. Let's start there. Because as you reckon... Uh, yes, 1 Corinthians 11. 1 Corinthians 11, my bad. This is what we got to, so I, I do recognize your face, Malcolm, uh, uh, over there, Allen, right? Okay. So you know you Israelite. You know that. So what should Israelites do when they're in the midst of praying and prophesying? My sister already, she already uh, notated what a woman should do. But as an Israelite man, what should you do in the midst of praying and prophesying? In the midst of praying and prophesying. We're going to read it. Here we go. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 3. Uh -huh. no. But I will have you know. That the head of every man is Christ. Uh -huh. And the head of the woman is the man. Read. And the head of Christ is God. So God in the Bible sets up order. We're the only community of people that have disarray in our own community. We got the woman leading the man and the children. What kind of madness is that? Why is that? Because our men within our community have lost sight of who they are according to God. Right. We lost sight that we were kings and rulers. Right. But who made us not feel like kings and rulers? First off, it was our disobedience. And then we started believing in this man right here. Bring who ain't Christ. Then we started looking at ourselves like, well, we ain't important. And our, our women like him more than he like us. We stopped standing up as men. So one thing that we got to do is get back in order as a people. Right. That's why we bring out the commandments. So I see the sister, she closed the leg. She's starting to get back in order. Every time she did something different, that script came back out again. She did it again. She got back in order. That's what we have to do. That's changing simplicity and the wisdom. Same thing for us. Now read the next part. Verse 4. Every man praying or prophesying. So when we pray as men and prophesy in the midst of reading the Bible, hearing the Bible, teaching the Bible, what should we do? Having his head covered uh -huh. dishonoreth his head. So when we have our heads covered, 
in the midst of praying and prophesying, we're dishonoring Christ. So, Malcolm, my brother back here, what should we do to honor Christ now that we're in the midst of praying and prophesying? So, how are you going to do that? All praises. You see what just happened? That's keeping God's commandments. When we're in the midst of praying and prophesying, I can tell you still don't understand it really, do you? You understand it? So, as the officer brought out earlier, this is how we see the children of God being manifested as opposed to the children of the devil being manifested. Those that are going to keep the commandments. You ever heard that commandment brought out in church? And that's the church of the white man. But somehow, when men go in that church, they don't never have nothing on their head at all. Bring it up. So we'll give more respect to the white man rather than to our own people. Yeah. That's out of order. You see that? Do you see that? That's what we'll do. When you got your own brothers coming out here teaching you the truth according to the Bible, sometimes we're like, I I'm confused. The white man said, I'll give you a $500 fine. You come in my courtroom with a hat on. Oh, we quick to take it off, right? Bring it out. So when we look at each other and say, yeah, I love my brother, man. I'm about black power, whatever. Are we really about that? Right. The Bible is black and powerful. Right. We got to get back in order with the Bible. So my brother, what's your name? K Cajun? AJ. AJ, will you take off your do-rag for God? Get out. It ain't for me. I'm just giving you the message that he told me to give you. Right. Will you do that for him? Yeah. All right, all praises. We're going we gonna to wait on you. But let's read on. Read. Verse 5. But every woman that prays or prophesies. Now, so there's a part of that law for the man where he uncovers his head. But then the next part is for the woman. Read. With her head uncovered, uh -huh. dishonoreth her head. So the woman in praying and prophesying, so the next time you send up a prayer, next time you send up a prayer, what should you do? You should cover your head. And that is all to show God and Christ that you love them. That is to say, hey God, I'm trying to get back in order with who I am. Right. So right. The, the part of us showing you that we came into slavery on ships, it's just that part that should remind you of who you were before slavery. Right. Now, what is it that led us into slavery? Disobedience. How do we get out of slavery? By obeying the laws of God. Right. Right. Simple. Simple. And I know a lot of times, we, did we go in the fringes already? We already went in the fringes. So the fringes are dealing with keeping the commandments, right? right. So, my sister right here. Let's go to Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Bring it out. Because Bring it out. all Israelites should be wearing fringes. Right. That's how you recognize Israelites. That's how you know that that person knows their nationality. Right. But what goes into the culture of Israelites? What should the men be doing? How should they carry themselves? What should the women be doing? How should they carry themselves? How will you be able to recognize when they're not doing what God said? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So here's a law on a tie. How the Israelites should dress. Read on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Read. For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So God is basically telling you, I have a dress code for my men. I have a dress code for my women. Anybody outside of that dress code is disgusting to me. Right. But we think, well, God loves the sinner, but not the sin. No. If you're in the midst of your sin, he don't like you either. Right. right. He hates that thing. And when he looks at you, he says, you're not my child. You're a child of the devil. What? Read it again from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertains to a man. What pertains to a man, sis? What article of clothing pertains to a man? Pants. Whether they be short pants, coochie cutters, this, that, and the third, boxes, that pertains to men. And God said, should you wear those? No, because that goes against modest apparel. Do you right, understand that? Right. That's what that goes against, modest apparel. Because guess what? You've been, uh, uh, I, so our sisters be going out to the club Friday night, Saturday night. When they put on them pants, the first thing they do is look in the mirror and do what? The, the, uh, the juke jack up. That's what we call it, the juke jack up. Where they just bouncing around, making sure everything is in place. That's out of order with God. You understand that? So if you ever done that, you need to repent of it. Why? Because God is showing you that you are a princess. Princesses dress, dress modestly. You understand? Yes, ma'am. What you got?
Say that again, I can't hear you. Like, what about all, like, the, the Hall Shy and all of that? Like, talking about the, what about your the, the name? Uh, it's, it, it's the same person. We, we have a lot of different names, but what does he really require of us? You see what I'm saying? We trying to find the, the magnificent name for him. The magnificent name ain't gonna get you in the uh, kingdom. Second Ezra chapter 14 and verse 13. Uh -huh. you know? Now therefore, set thine house in order. So that's what we gotta start training our mind to do. Setting our house in order. Disobedience is what made us get out of order. Right. Right. Read. And reprove thy people. And reprove thy people. Why is that? Because our people think they're doing the right thing, but we have to show them, according to the Bible, that it's not what they thought it was. We got to do what the Bible say, not what we thinking to do. Read. Comfort such of them as be in trouble. So our people in trouble. How have we been in trouble? We still suffering traumatic stress from slavery. Right. We're seeing things on TV like our brothers getting shot down on Facebook Live. Right. People getting harassed by the police daily. You don't think that, does that mess with your psyche? Day in, day out. Damn, man, I hope I don't get pulled over by the police, man. Golly, I ain't got nothing in this car going wrong, but I could die. Bring it out. Read on. And now, renounce corruption. Now what we have to do so that we don't have to worry about that thing. We'll know that we're protected by God. We got to renounce corruption. What's another word for corruption? Three-letter word. Big consequences. Three-letter word. Big consequences. Sin. We got to renounce sin. Do it no more. That's going to change you from being a simple sinner to a wise king and a wise ruler. You understand That's right. Daniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.